I have traveled and met several people who have grown up with the luxury of either living in a foreign country or with bilingual parents, parents with, of different native languages. And the natural advantage that those children had having two native languages to learn other languages was uh, incredible. So I wanted my son to have that opportunity. If you look at the changing demographics of where we are right now, I think it's very, very important to have at least one, if not more, uh, at least multiple, if not more uh, languages. I feel like in 20 years, it's going to be a necessity. It's not going to be a nice to have. It's going to be something that every ch every person needs to have at least one other language. I also believe that developmentally, it's something good for her in the sense that uh, it uh, will actually help her learn better as she grows. Uh, by having two languages, just by going through the process of learning another language at this age. I think at this age it's nice because their ear gets attuned and uh, they have the ability to pick it up so much faster. I was a little, only a little bit unsure um, because it was a new school. But, but we visited a lot of preschools and most of them are ongoing. They've, they've been doing it for a while. You know, they're all set up. And, and here, when we came, she hadn't had she didn't have any students yet. And yet, everything was was set up. It was real clear that she had a plan for how it was going to work. She had a lot of information about immersion programs and how they work and what the pros and cons of them are. Uh, it was just really interesting, and it was really impressive how how well structured everything was. And I came in, and uh, Carolina, uh, we spoke, and in within. 10 minutes intuitively I knew that it was a, a gem of a program. She came home the first three days and said I love it mommy and she was hesitant going in but you know just because they were speaking another language but it took no time for her to adapt. Uh, one of the things we you know you don't know coming into a school we we came and did the open houses and talked to uh, Carolina and Gabby um, you, but you don't know until you get in uh, what it's going to be like, and it's been very, very warm, very nurturing, um, and we're very, very comfortable with uh, the, the care um, that, you know, um, Tyler's getting. It's catered to the individual child, or it seems to be in, in, in some sense, uh, but somehow streamlined for all, you know, where none are really left out. It's a preschool environment. You go in, the kids have some organizational time, they have their circle time, they go through the math, they do colors, they do shapes, they do animals, they do transportation. They do all the preschool stuff. They just do it in Spanish. And so there are two parallel processes that are going on that don't necessarily conflict with each other. They're just separate. Uh, he's done a lot with math. He's learned a lot of it. He's gotten really good at his, num he's gotten really good at his numbers. He's gotten good at, at adding. Um, he's learning his letters. He's learned his colors. He's just become much more sociable. He, he's ma made a lot of good friends here. He's become more outgoing. Uh, he speaks better in English as well as speaking better in Spanish. Um, so e even if he wasn't learning Spanish, this would be a great place for him. The, the fact that he's also learning Spanish is just very, very cool. It really is a neat environment. They, you can tell the teachers are highly trained and really highly motivated. I love the energy here. You don't get that in a lot of uh, preschools that I've seen. And they learn outstanding ways to do art. I can't believe the stuff that's coming home. I mean, there is like a paper mache bowl of, a, of fruit, bananas, oranges, apples, that was really kind of surreal in, in how good it was. She's done really, really thoughtful um, expressions uh, of paintings of the house and landscapes and backdrops and things like that. And she gets very excited to come to art the evening before. I think it's well overdue that we have something where the parents are seeing more of a, uh, a return on their money and the time, um, meaning that the children are actually learning. We live in a multicultural world and if we're able to give our child, Peter, the opportunity to learn a second language, he is just going to be able to grow and thrive and prosper uh, when he becomes an adult. And, and the thing that's really neat is that Peter, although he's the youngest, he's the expert. And so when we say something, he'll, he'll correct our pronunciation. Um, which is very cool because he's the youngest. He can't do anything as well as everybody else can, right? So he's used to being the person who's, who's wrong. You know, his brothers say, no, Peter, that's not right. Um, and now he can say, no, Ronnie, you say it this way. One of the first things he started uh, saying was, um, Daddy, you're grande. And, and, you know, because then Graham's pequeño, his old, older brother. Um, so that was, those were the first kind of words he started spitting back to us. It was fun. 
when I see him in play and he starts speaking Spanish, I just, I think, wow, it's working. You know, it's really, it's cool. I've said to other parents and to friends that I know this will be my favorite school for Anna and it's her, her first year, but I do know that this will be my favorite of her schools that it's just been wonderful.